Guys, Lee Swift with us is getting trained. Uh, we want to show you guys how we down a dog. Um, Dobby, I'm not sure if he knows how to down, but let's test it out. Dobby down. 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 Alright, so nothing, right? This is the beginning of how we do down foot dogs. Prong on, leash on, foot is on the leash. Down. With the pressure, they're gonna. Good. Nope. Down. Good. So, this is how you get the dog to get into a down. You just use your leash. Prong collar, you use pressure to down the dog. Um, when he when he gives me consistent downs in the next excuse me, in the next few minutes, then we're gonna start adding duration and then distance. So break. Again. Down. So pressure on here on the leash. And depending on the dog, this can take up to 20, 25 minutes. If taken us that long before to put a dog in the down. Down. So, objection. So he's trying to move out of the down by pulling away. My foot is not moving. Down. So, there's resistance here. I don't know if you can tell or not. And he's going to be, eventually he's going to drop down. Good. And then good is it just, just a marker. Don't need to give him food. Don't need to do anything. Just good is good enough for the dog. He knows he did a good job. Break. Down. 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 So, fighting the pressure again here. Just gotta be patient, guys. Down. So all that smelling and whatever distraction, typically I would correct that. He's a pretty heavy guy. He's going to drop down soon. Down. And as soon as he pops down, I'm going to mark it. So watch out for it. He's trying to, trying to get out of it. And there's no way out until he gave me the command. Down. So we add pressure, down, there you go, good, break, down again, down, stubborn little guy, right? Down. A little bit pressure. Down. So every time I sit down, I put more, a little bit more pressure, a little bit more pressure on the leash. Down. Good. So then as soon as four paws on the floor, good, we mark it, and then we keep moving. Break. Then again. Down.
这样。So tons of resistance. You know, this is phase one of downing a dog. Some dogs go faster than others, and some it takes longer. So down. And then we add more pressure. Gets up, verbal no, putting back in the down. At this point, there's no corrections, or no least corrections, because obviously to me he doesn't know the command. So until the dog understands the command completely, um, no physical corrections. Right? Again, down. Some more pressure, down. And again, when you do this, guys, it can be frustrating. We we'll just stay neutral. Use a neutral tone. Don't yell at the dog. Don't be angry. Good. And I think that's the toughest part for for us humans. You know, is we get frustrated we quick quickly, um, and then we tend to change our tones and that we become unfair so that the dog you know gets stressed out and gets nervous doesn't want to work with us for us anymore so break down again doggy is just my demo dog he's just here for boarding typically we don't do this with boarding dogs but I thought I should make a video about down with the dog from the very beginning. Down. Good. So faster and faster every repetition, right? So that's good. Good. Nope. Down. That's just information. Every time I say no, it's just the verbal verbal information. Put it back in the down. Break. Right. Down. Down. Good. So the dog understands that the only way to get rid of that pressure is by complying and giving me the command that I'm asking for. Right, we'll do a few more reps and then I'll let him rest. Nope. Down. Good. See that? He's on my foot. And when you start doing this a lot, the dogs will see your foot going on the leash as a cue. So they will usually, if they see your foot going up, they will usually just go down. Right. Down. So again, pressure here. Down. Down. Good. You see that? 
his butt kind of went up, and then I was gonna say no, but then he readjusted himself. Right. here and quicker down so then um, he gets a little pet. Right. Down. Down. So every time I say down, I add a little bit more pressure, a little bit more pressure until he gives me the command. So it's not that I'm just staying here constantly, which, you know, like it's constant, but then if he's not responsive, the next like two or three commands, and I sit down and add a little bit more pressure. So down. And that's okay. good. All right. try to do a uh, phase two tomorrow. All right guys, so we were working on phase two with Dobby on down. See what we get today. Right. Down. So this is pretty typical of, you know, when dogs are never asked what to do, they always fight against the pressure. Lay down. Good. Good. Break. Down. Lay down. Lay 
Igen. Igen. Lay down. Good. Now always try either down or lay down. No, don't want to mess around. Break. Lay down. Lay down. Good. So much faster than the first couple times, right? No. Like I don't want him rolling around and messing around because that just gives them and that just opens a window for them to like mess around. So. Right. Lay down. Lay down. So smelling around. Nope. Lay down. Good. Break. Lay down. Lay down. Good. Break. Break. Lay down. Lay down. So now he kind of expects, you know, he knows my foot's going up, so he's going to have to go down. Lay down. Lay down. My tone of voice doesn't, you know, it doesn't change the same as well. Good. And good is a marker, and me petting it is reinforcing. Good. So you 
see how no, it's going faster. It's going faster and faster from you down. Right. Lay down. Lay down. So every time I sit down or lay down, I put I add pressure to the leash. Lay down. Good. Push. Lay down. Lay down. So remember when you do this, patience. Good. And your tone of voice should stay the same, neutral. You're not mad, you're not angry, you're not upset with a dog. Right. Good. And again, lay down. Lay down. Let's continue the down the body. Break. Down. Good. Break. Down. Yes. Break. Down. Yes. Break. Down. Good. So you see that? Oh, he's giving me all those downs. All that is from just working with the leash and with the prong. Right. Down. Down. Good. Okay, so we'll add a little bit of direction now that he knows the command. Meaning, I'm walking around, I'm moving around. He's not breaking until I release. And if he does break, then we'll, cor we'll correct and I'll show you how to correct. So I'm gonna invite him to break so that he can make the mistake and he and I can correct him and he can learn from it. Good. He's actually doing really good. No, down. See that correction? See if he'll break again. Good. Good. Break. Good job. Down. Yes, good boy. So again. There's no there's no pressure on the leash. I'm just walking. The leash isn't a you know like a U or kind of like a J shape. Or there's no tension at all on the leash. It's good. Break. Down. Down. Good. Break. Down. Good job. Break. Down. One more time. Down. Yes. Good boy. 
All right, so that's enough for today. You can see like the improvement from day one to day three. So she's doing awesome. And that's only like, you know, phase two and then typically phase three, that's when we really start like to um, test them out on duration work. So that's your start on teaching your dog how to down.